but it's very easy to build ArcGIS server web applications using the JavaScript API. No development or deployment license is required on the host server, making this a very quick and simple way to push your content. And the best way to learn about the JavaScript API and all the APIs that ESRI has uh, to offer is to visit the ESRI Resource Center. So here I am at resources.esri.com. Going to click on ArcGIS Server, Online SDKs. Here are the web mapping application, uh, the web application uh, options. Going to work with JavaScript and the JavaScript API. And uh, if you're getting, if you're new to JavaScript, the best way to learn about it is to go to the samples that ESRI has created for you. So what I would like to do is I'd like to create my own uh, tiled and dynamic service. Um, so we're going to be combining tiled information from ArcGIS Online with information coming from our own server. So you can see here is what this application looks like. And I want to create something similar myself. So in order to create something similar, um, I'm going to start directly with this application by just copying and pasting the code directly from this sample and pasting it to my own uh, notepad or editor, text editor, on my machine. So it's uh, that simple or that easy to get up and going. So what I'd like to do is this section that I have highlighted right here, this is the actual connection information for what services are being brought into this application. I'd like to switch these out with my own or different services. And to do that, I'm going to bring up the services directory of ArcGIS Online. So here we see the services directory for ArcGIS Online. Here are all the services that are available. What I'd like to do is I'd like to switch out the topo base map that the sample is using with our own or a different service, which is high resolution imagery. So I'm literally going to copy and paste the URL directly out of Internet Explorer, and I'm going to paste it directly over um, the one that was created here already. Now the last one that I'd like to do is re, uh, replace the service uh, that is in this sample, which is the population information. I'd like to replace this with my own service. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to use the services directory for my own machine. Now every ArcGIS server at 9.3 has its own services directory. So I'm going to replace the ArcGIS online with my own server name. So here we can see the services that are uh, on my server running. And here's one for foreclosures that I'm going to use. I'm going to again just copy and paste the URL out. And I'm going to replace the URL from the sample with the URL from my server. I'm going to save this, H, uh, this document out as an HTML. Give it a name, foreclosure.html. Going to hit save. And we can view this application. Oh, and it's going to give me a couple errors, but that's OK. It wants active script. There we go. That's OK. All right, so here we can see the service that I've created, bringing in the imagery. And you can see it's got a little bit of a transparency set because I did not modify that code in the sample. But we can see that I have uh, imagery along with some army tanks and some imagery, uh, some a raster surface that we created in an earlier uh, demonstration at the 9.3 seminar. So here you can see how quickly you can get up to uh, copying a sample from ArcGIS Online and creating your own JavaScript application. Now what I'd like to do now is to show you the potential. So it's really easy to create your own, um, but there's probably a lot more you would want to do in creating your web mapping application. So I've got a few samples that I'm going to show you um, with JavaScript. So this particular sample is using, again, base map information, and it's fusing an, a, a GeoRSS feed directly from the USGS. So here I have uh, all the earthquakes that have recently happened within the last week or so around the world. So obviously red is much greater. So we're going to click on this one. Uh, and this is a magnitude 6.3 earthquake that happened in Santiago del Estero in South America. So, and that was last Wednesday. So I'm going to click on the get population. And what this JavaScript application is doing is it's going back out to ArcGIS server and it's actually executing a geoprocessing task. That geoprocessing task is a 100-mile buffer, 
with a population overlay from there. So here we can see, if I pan over in the screen, that we did our 100 mile buffer by clicking on the application. And we can see that the number of people within 100 miles of this uh, earthquake are about half a million. So very simple, very easy to use. This is a good example of um, how you might use JavaScript to create a web mapping application. So there's a few other uh, APIs that we can work with. And, and the one that I'd like to show you in addition to JavaScript is one that is very similar, and that is the Flex API. So the ArcGIS uh, Flex API. And the best place, again, to learn about the Flex API is also to go to the ESRI Resource Center. But what I'm going to do, rather than going back to show you all of that, I'm just going to show you an example as a kind of a compare and contrast from JavaScript to Flex. And this is an example that is running by the city of Boston. This is a live and active site that Boston has. And this is used creating the Flex API. So I'm going to go into a neighborhood of Boston. We'll go to Fenway. And you can just see, I'm going to do a few little, a few different interactions and clicks on this map. So you can see kind of the, uh, the interaction with, uh, with Flex and how the Flex API can create a, a great looking, aesthetically pleasing application for you. So here, this is uh, an example that the city of Boston has for solar radiation panels. So we can click on Fenway Park where the Red Sox play and we can see the, the solar panels that are on the roof there. But, you know, not to, to demo, demonstrate this site so much as I wanna appeal to you, the, the, show you the appeal of Flex API, I wanna show you a few things that this does. So bringing in different layers of information and the JavaScript API does the same thing. So here we can see historic districts and we can also see rooftop radiation values. So here is building tops and the radiation values from that. So what you can see is, is how the Flex API uh, can be used to create a fantastic, intuitive, simple uh, website here. So in this particular demonstration, you've seen, um, you know, with the advent of ESRI or ArcGIS 9.3, the ability to create a web mapping application very quickly and publish your GIS content uh, out to a broader audience and to do it quickly at that. And you've also seen a couple examples of, of what you can do, the potential of, of uh, a little bit more programming for the JavaScript and Flex applications to create some great, fantastic uh, sites for pushing out your GIS content.